got Red Aviation here back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the uh, Gemini Jets October 2020 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so first, we're going to start off with the 1 to 400 uh, October releases. So first up, we have this American 77-9 uh, G minor. Uh, looks pretty nice. Um, I heard that Gemini Jets has a problem uh, with the coloring of the aircraft. I know their 77 molds, from what I've heard, are really good. Um, but it's just that um, I've heard that like, the color with uh, Gemini Jets' American models are a little bit off. So, uh, for those of you who collect models uh, at American Hubs, uh, this is for you. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to get it because I don't need it for EWR, but that's just my opinion. Uh, and uh, the registration is November 285 Alpha Alpha. It is 54.95. Uh, moving on to the list, I might actually get this for EWR. Um, it is a British Airways A350 1000 uh, XWB. This looks really, really nice. Um, this looks. Uh, wow. Um, I've seen the A350 before. I haven't seen an EWR. I know BA do operate a 77, but I might just get the A350 1000 and use that instead of 77. I know that uh, it wouldn't be accurate, but I just really like the way it looks. Um, but wow, that's a really good model. Um, the uh, registration is Golf XA Whiskey Bravo Charlie, and it is 58.95. Next up, we have a special LL uh, 787 livery. This is the LL Jerusalem of Gold 77-9. Uh, uh, it's in the Jerusalem Gold livery. Uh, this looks really nice. Um, but I, I feel like the only difference, it pretty much is a normal livery, just the only difference is that they've changed the LL logo. It's like a golden color, and they've added like, this um, golden flourish. Um, to the model. So other than that, it uh, looks pretty much just like any um, other model. But yeah, this is the uh, LL779 of the Jerusalem Gold Library. Uh, registration is for X-Ray Echo Delta Mike, and the price is $54.95. Moving on, we have, I might get this, uh, we have this Hawaiian Airlines, uh, Hawaiian Airlines A330 200 this is just in the normal livery um looks nice enough um but i've heard that gemini jets do have a problem with their 830 molds like the wings are uh, angled up too far i've heard um of this problem um but i might actually get this model uh, i don't need a free wr i just want it uh, so that way if i ever do an update airport update of any other airport um I can use a Hawaiian AT30. But yeah. Uh, once again, that's a Hawaiian AT30. Registration is November 388 Hotel Alpha. And MSRP is $51.95. Now, I'm, I've spotted this aircraft at EWR before. Uh, it is a Lufthansa um, A330. Uh, sorry, A340. 300, is it? Um, yeah. Lufthansa A340 300. This is... Uh, in the new library, it's very Euro white. Um, I did spot this at EWR, uh, EWR before. I did spot this exact registration, which is Delta Alpha India Foxtrot Delta. Yeah, if I'm correct, yeah. Uh, I spotted this at EWR before, so maybe I'll get it, but probably not. Um, and I might as well just get uh, Lufthansa A350, which flies like near the EBR from uh, Munich. Uh, once again, the registration is Delta Alpha India Foxtrot uh, Delta, and it is $51.95. Wow. But something that intrigues me is that the A350 1000 is 58 bucks, and yet something that is longer and most likely larger than the A350 1000, the Airbus A340 300, is less. I don't know. Next up, uh, this will be good for you Australian collectors. We have Qantas um, Dash 8 Q200. Um, it looks nice enough. Uh, it's Qantas Link. Um, the reason why I remember, like, why I think it's so funny is because, like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's this video of, like, a 
Qantas Link Q400 uh, that's coming into land. There's a snake uh, on the engine, the back of the engine. I, I just find it funny. Uh, but anywho, this is the aircraft. And the registration is Victor Hotel Tango Quebec X-Ray. Uh, and it is $40.95. Oh, I'm getting this. 100%. It's the United 7710 Dreamliner. Um, I'm gonna get this for EWR. Um, definitely 100%. This is definitely on my bucket list to get. Um, reason why I'm getting it is because, well, they do fight EWR. And also, I can also make a comparison video between my NG model 78710 and this, uh, Jimmy Red Dead So definitely, I'm definitely gonna get this. It's, uh, just United's normal library, new library, Blue Evolution. It's just uh, normal, uh, but the only difference is it's uh, 7710 Dream Honor in the new library. Uh, but the registration is November 12010, and it is 5695. Another one, another one that I'm going to get is the UPS 747-8F. Interactive. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Gemini just is interactive series. Basically, our looks like you can take out the nose, you can take out the cargo doors. Basically, it's supposed to be like a interactive <laughs> um, aircraft. Uh, now, currently, the only interactive um, molds that are supported by Gemini are the 747E. Um, now, I'm getting this. Um, now you're like, why don't you get, just get any interactive? Well, because this is in American Airlines, so I can like, it's um, not American Airlines, American Cargo Airlines, so I could like put this in my airport update, for example. And I know they don't fly to EWR, but this would just be a really cool model to have, you know? Uh, like like pulling out doors and like the, 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 the nose going up. It's, this is just one of those really cool to have models, uh, if you guys know what I mean. And of course you have the UPS logo. Um, Remember 606 uniform papa and it is wow no that that's expensive 66.95 wow um I know this this probably isn't oh god that voice crack um this probably isn't gonna sell well uh because it has it's a neo and Gemini just says neos generally don't sell well if they're not an American airline uh but this is the Volaris A321 LR is it a321 Neo. Uh, this is in their normal library. Is it? Yeah, it's in the normal library. Um, you got the winglets. Uh, you got this nice engine. It's pretty much a normal uh, Velaris library aircraft except on an A321 Neo. Now, I think this isn't gonna sell well. Um, uh, Mexican collectors are gonna buy it. Uh, Spanish collectors, I know you guys are gonna buy it. There's a fact this isn't gonna sell well because it's a Neo and Jim and I just Neo mold unless they've changed something about it Their engines are gonna be on the ground. Um, so I'm probably maybe mm, Maybe I'm gonna get this just maybe uh, but The registration is November 537 Victor Lima and is 44 bucks uh, now The reason why I say maybe is because number one the large do not fly to EWR and number two uh, that I know of and number two this would just be one of those cool to have models for when I do airport updates that are like suggested for North American airports Okay, moving on to the Gemini Max releases uh, For those of you who don't know Gemini Max is basically Gemini Jets is military aircraft um, Max military aircraft something something um, This is their max releases um, Sometimes they release them sometimes I don't uh, but this is a really good release um I know we have the, um, what is it? It is Boeing P A Poseidon. Um, this is the U, um, I believe it's Royal Air Force. Uh, from the logo, uh, P A Poseidon. You got wow, that's a lot of antennas. Uh, you got a lot of antennas. Um, this, this looks interesting. Um, maybe I might get this. Probably not. Uh, registration is Zulu Papa 801. So yeah, it's a it's, it's a British Air, uh, Royal Air Force uh, aircraft. It's a PA Poseidon, uh, and it is 48.95, and it is in the Pride of Moray. Uh, I think that's the title of the aircraft. I don't think it's a library that the RAF has. I think it's just um, just the name of the aircraft. But pretty much, it's basically just a normal PA Poseidon except for the RAF. 
No, I might get this. This is um, Boeing C-17 Globe Master 3. 3. Uh, this is the USAF in the McCord uh, Air Force Base Library. Basically, the US Air Force's version of a library is just you slap a colored stripe and you add uh, the name of the Air Force Base and like a tiny, tiny logo. Um, but I might get this if I have a little bit of money left over, which I probably won't from all the good releases, but, um, this is one of my maybe models. Um, moving on to the 1 to 200 Gemini, uh, Gemini 200, 1 to 200 Gemini 200 October 2020 releases. Um, now, um, Gemini 200 is basically Gemini's 1 to 200 scale, um, model aircraft, uh, line. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we have the 1 to 200. And let's start off. Uh, starting off, we have the Air France A380 in 1 to 200. Uh, this thing's gonna be huge. Uh, it's an A380, of course. Um, it's, it's in the normal library. I don't like Air France's library. Most European libraries, they're just too Euro white for me. Besides, like Egan, Egan, uh, Greece's National Library, and a few others, I don't like European libraries. They're just too Euro white in my mind, like this. It's very Euro white. You're basically just paying for an almost blank model with like a Air France logo slapped onto it. I don't like it. it doesn't it doesn't make the airlines feel special, you know. I'm betting who it's an Air France A380. Um, registration is Foxtrot Hotel Papa Juliet Charlie. Um, and it's wow, whoa, that that's expensive. One eighty two ninety five. Um, and sorry, I forgot to say the registration for the Gemini Max, um, C-17, uh, registration is 21111. Uh, but anywho, we have an, a, uh, 1 to 200 ASA Embraer E-120 Brasilia, 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 um, uh, it's an A, uh, uh, e, uh sorry, Embraer EMB, uh, 120. Registration is November 237 AS. This looks to be um, this looks to be a retro line. Uh, just from the looks of it, um, I'm going to I gotta look up uh, ASA Airlines. I gotta look it up. Um, I do believe they're a airline that doesn't exist anymore. Um, actually, they do exist. No, they do exist. And oh no, no, they don't. They were bought by Delta. Um, yeah, they were bought by Delta Connections, so they don't exist anymore. But this is Atlantic Southeast Airlines. Uh, it's an Embraer 120 Brasilia. Uh, for those of you retro collectors, this is uh, the model for you. Uh, registration, like I said, is November 237 Alpha Sierra. And it is $78.95. Now this, I know people like Aviation 18 and you British collectors, you guys are going to love this model. It's the British Airways um, 747-400. This is uh, in their normal library. Uh, just normal. Uh, registration is Golf, um, Golf Charlie India Victor November. Uh, so basically, it's just a normal British Airways 744. Um, now, I have flown a British Airways 744, but I was in the one of the middle seats, which I'm kind of sad about because they retired them. Uh, sorry. Um, but yeah, interesting. This is this is pretty interesting. Uh, mm hmm. Yep, $181. Okay, I, I can see that for a British 744. They're pretty popular. Um, but if for an anti 380, mm, I, I wouldn't pay that much. This is, um, wow, Gemini. Just, just, wow. So, you guys making a 744, I'm fine with that British Airways 744. It's gonna be a popular aircraft, but show the flaps down in the animation, man. In the picture. Don't, 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 don't write above the actual clip art flaps down config. Gemini never learned, do they? Um,. It's a flaps down configuration, uh, British Airways 744, and it's, I don't know why they charge you $19 more just to have flaps extended, just to have a tiny piece of plastic protruding out of the model. I don't get it. 
I don't know. Uh, but anywho, you uh, moving on. We have uh, this is gonna be popular with you Dutch collectors. KLM Convair CV CV uh, CV340. This is a uh, retro. This is a very retro model. It's uh, KLM uh, the Flying Dutchman livery. Um, so this would be popular with you Dutch retro collectors or for you European retro collectors. Um, registration is Papa Hotel uh, Charlie Golf Delta, and price is seventy eight ninety five. And um, yeah, that's that. that <laughs> it's the same registration aircraft, and they're and they're charging you twenty nineteen dollars more for flat flats extended. I'm I'm sorry, I know we're past this, but I, I just can't get my head over it. Uh, but anywho, uh, you have moving on. You have Lufthansa Cargo. Uh, MD-11, now this is in the new library. For those of you who don't know, uh, Lufthansa has its own cargo airline. I believe they have f between 30 and f or 40 jets, I want to say, 40 cargo jets. Uh, they have their own cargo airline. This is what uh, the model will look like uh, when it's released. Uh, registration is Delta Alpha, Char uh, Alpha Lima Charlie Delta, and it's $154. Moving on... Um, for you American collectors, this model is going to sell out fast. Uh, it is the Spirit A320 in the Bananas livery. This is um, 1 to 200. I'm sorry. I really want them to, uh, Jim and I, to make this in 1 to 400 because, like, why? Why don't you guys make this? Uh, but anywho, uh, this is the Spirit A320 in the Bananas livery. You have the winglets. Um, I don't think. I don't think this is. Actually, in real life, you have these winglets. I don't believe you do. Uh, I believe it's just fence, ti uh, fence tips. But um, uh, I'll have to check on that. Uh, but anywho, uh, this is the model. Um, November six four nine November kilo, and it is ninety three ninety five. Moving on to the last uh, model in Gemini Jets's October twenty twenty releases, we have the Ty McDonald Douglas. MD, what is it? MD11. Um, this is this looks very retro. Uh, I know this is going to be very popular with you tie collectors. Um, but wow, this this looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, with like, okay, okay, that that's horrible. This is horrible. They just put a picture over the actual engine. They didn't make it 3D. <laughs> Uh, but whatever uh, if the model is good like when they release the pictures if the model is good then i'm gonna give gemini a break but if they like actually just put the logo slap it on there and like they don't even like make the crevice of the engine over the logo mm, that, that, that's kind of sketchy to me but anyhow uh this is the model what the model look like and the registration is Hotel Sierra Tango Mike Echo, and the price is $154.95. Okay, so most likely the models that I'm going to get in uh, the October 2020 releases, most likely, um, definitely what I'm going to get is the United 7710 and the UPS 7478 Interactive. Uh, on my maybe list, definitely is the Lufthansa AC40, Volaris AC21 Neo, and the C17 Globemaster 3. So those are all on my list. And that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos, and comment down below which aircraft you are getting from these releases. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.